Hey, it's Lauren. So for today's face, I have a really fun eye look planned. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use my Uoma Say What foundation. I wear the shade T1W, yes, T1W. And I'm just gonna do a very, very light sheer application of this. This foundation is kind of a medium full coverage and it eventually will kind of go matte. Um, I really like this foundation. I always think that my skin looks really pretty with it on, but I have definitely learned with time, less is more. <laughs> I don't need quite so much of it on there. Something I also feel like kind of saying is that like, I feel like every time I start my videos, my skin looks super red. And that's usually because I've just put my sunscreen on. <laughs> Normally my skin does not look so red, but it does flush pretty easily when I've touched it. So as you can see, this foundation does an excellent job of evening out redness and correcting tone. And when you use just a tiny, tiny amount of it, I think that's perfect if you still want your skin to look a little more natural and like skin. And you can see like blemishes will kind of peek back through if you do it very, very light. I'm going to follow up with their Stay Woke Concealer. This is like a very um, like rich, creamy texture. It's a really, really nice concealer. It's got really good coverage too. I really love how their foundation and concealer look on my skin. It always just looks really just fresh and kind of perfect. <laughs> I, and it just wears beautifully all day too. My skin is more on the kind of combination side and I feel like their foundation especially kind of prevents you from getting overly oily or greasy, which I really appreciate. Um, so for today, I'm going to use a cream blush. This is the Jillian Dempsey Cheek Tint in the shade Poppy. I'm gonna use a brush. This is a MAC brush, kind of their blush stippling brush, if you will. And I'm going to get a pretty healthy dose of this going on. I really like this color. It's kind of like a salmon, salmon shade of sorts. It's really bright and fresh and I think really great for any time really for my skin tone, but especially for warmer weather. I love kind of these warmer tones. I think it's really pretty. And I like in wintertime almost having that kind of like berries in the snow, flushed like you've been running in the north <laughs> kind of look. I love that shade. So now I'm going to follow up with some powder to set my face. I'm going to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I'm really a big fan of. And I have it in a sifter, like an old sifter for a different product. I always like to double check under my eyes and make sure that I don't have any creasing there before I set. Um, that way you're not setting a giant crease into your under eye powder. And then I'm just gonna lightly kind of dust this all over my face. I don't necessarily put powder on the perimeter of my face. A, because it doesn't get super oily and B, it kind of makes it look more natural not to have like a ton of powder on the edges of your face. Kind of like conceal and perfect from the middle, blend it out into your skin and it will look much more natural. All right, now I'm going to bronze cause I am quite pale. My sunscreen is working. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Thrive Cosmetics in Rhea. I love this bronzer. I think it's really, really nice. Now I'm going to use a highlighter that I haven't really played with in a while, mostly because I've been playing with other highlighters that are new that I really, really love. Now I'm going to use the Merit Highlighting Balm Stick and you know, you can wipe it on your cheeks. I just feel like when you do that, a lot of times it's going to move product around too much, especially when you have like a really balmy texture like this. I feel like when you put it on your fingers and then you press onto the skin, it's not going to smear that product off of there. You want to just let it sit 
it's the same concept as with, you know, concealing a pimple or something. If you conceal it and then you go wiping over it a whole bunch, you're going to move that product around. So it's better if you can really just kind of press. You're not going to lift off as much as if you were to wipe it off, you know. Think about, um, like, you know, at the end of the day, there's like the whole double cleansing trend using an oil or a balm to break your makeup down, right? And then if you have a beautiful product like this that is kind of an oily balm, it's going to break down that makeup, especially if you're moving it around over top of it. So I think you can still definitely use these type of products, but there is a special way to use them so that you don't disturb the makeup underneath. Now, the other thing about that is I think a lot of times products like this are geared towards people that don't have a lot of coverage on their skin. So if you do like a little bit more of a fuller coverage, like myself, um, you know, you just have to work around how you're applying it. But I do think it's a really beautiful um, highlighting balm. And I would actually say this is one of my favorite products that they launched. Um, I ended up not really liking the flush balm for a similar reason, because like when you apply it, it's too emollient to the point where it was like wiping off my makeup underneath. And then it was like a schmeary mess on my cheeks. Um, they're a foundation stick. They're like minimalist stick. I actually really like that, but I don't have the right shade right now. So that's why I don't ever use it. I like the texture of it. I like the coverage of it. Um, it's really full coverage. I think I broke it down in my um, comparison video, but the price point is really, really high for the amount of product you get. Thankfully, you don't have to use a ton of it, but it's still really expensive for what you get. But I do think their highlighting balm is really beautiful. Um, okay, now, this is what I'm excited about today. So for eyes, I'm going to use the Violette FR U Paint in Cuivre de Love, and I'm going to apply this a quick dot and then I'm going to use a brush to buff it out. I think this product is so gorgeous. I just love it. I um, still want to get a couple other shades and I've been like debating, you know, when to get it. She will be launching some new products in June. So I'm kind of um, holding out until then my luck, it'll be like sold out and then I won't be able to get it during that order anyway, but whatever, we're gonna try. <laughs> All right, so it's a really nice kind of soft wash that we've got going on here. What I want to do is I want to build up that intensity just a little bit more on the lash line. So I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess here and kind of use the thin, um, side to line a little closer on my lashes for more intensity. And then just for good measure, I'm going to just lightly buff out the top of that line so it blends more seamlessly. But look how that just kind of, it bumped up the metallic factor of this. All right, awesome. Now what I wanna do is use a complementary color. I like to do this a lot in makeup where I will use one color and then I use another color that counterbalances it because I think that it really makes for a complete look on the face. I mean I think it's like with art a lot of times if you have complementary colors that are going to they don't clash but a lot of times they're kind of opposites and so they really enhance the visual appeal of the other one. So what I'm going to do is use a navy pencil. This is from Jones Road Beauty. And I'm going to use this on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna use it outside of my waterline um, because I want you to actually be able to see the color a bit better. This is a, it's a true navy. It's a really dark navy pencil and it is not like a light blue, which I like. You look in there, let's fix that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use a liner brush. And I kind of smudged it out that way. I did something recently that I really liked, which was like dragging and creating a wing almost from the bottom. And I want this to just look a lot softer. So I'm going to use my finger. And when you smudge like that, I always try to clean it off so it's not like 
really concentrated in one spot on my finger when I go back to smudge more. You see like that? And then I kind of buff that away. Cool. I want it to be almost kind of hazy. And this is a really great pencil for that because it's pretty, um, pretty soft. I'm gonna drag a little bit from that top um, lash line just so this little wing doesn't look hollow across the top. But I'm also not gonna go across the top of my lashes because I don't want to conceal that metallic copper. Cool. All right, now that that's all on, I want to powder just underneath that to help prevent smudging. I always like to do this when I have on a really strong um, eyeliner underneath my eyes because there's nothing worse than after a long hot day your makeup is like melting off of your face and now that it is quite warm outside I find this step very important. I do love that though that's really cool. For my eyebrows today I'm going to use the NYX Lift and Snatch Pen, and then I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics Instant Fix um, Semi-Permanent Brow Gel. I just want, because it's such a strong look on the eyes, I want my eyebrows to be a little softer looking, counterbalancing. For my eyelashes, I'm going to use Thrive Cosmetics. And I'm going to do my best to do a lighter coat of this, but it's always kind of dramatic looking, which I love anyway, so. All right, so a little kind of tip that I want to point out. My bottom lashes are pretty long, and if I really work mascara through them, they end up a little spidery. So what I like to do and that I feel like fills in my lashes and makes my lash line look a little thicker, is I just kind of barely tap uh, the mascara wand on the very root of my lower lashes. And it kind of fills them in and it gives just enough of a coat on my lashes to make them look a little thicker and less sparse or gappy, um, but it doesn't make them look spidery. So if you also struggle with that, uh, I hope that's helpful. For my lips today, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Aqua Pencil. This is the shade 1C and align my lips. Really my, um, my purpose in picking this is I feel like the color coordinates pretty nicely with Poppy, which I, I always do this, but like I always end up wanting to put on a little extra blush when I see my final face. I just feel like sometimes you just need that little extra kick of cheek color, but I don't like to overdo it in the beginning. I always want to see, do I need more at the end of my face? That looks better. And I think to finish this off, I'm going to use my um, Cloven Hallow Lip Cream in Desert Rose. I may end up changing this. I just want to see how this looks with it. I think it'll look really nice. It's not doing it for me. No, I need something else. Hang on, we'll try this. This is the lip serum in the shade Kind from Fit Glow. I buffed off most of that lip cream and I still have some lip liner on. Yeah, I like that better. Cool. What I like so much about this look is that you don't necessarily know that liner is navy until you get up closer and then you can see that it's navy, but it's kind of got this hazy, smoky underliner effect, which is kind of fun. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps other people find my channel and I can continue making fresh new content for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.